half nine Monday morning. That's the school run done. So now I can get back to work and earning me some money. Um, I would say car boot season is come to an end. I'll show you why. And it's pretty worrying to be fair because we're coming up to Q4 now and my shelves are empty. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep trying with Amazon as well. Try and get some stuff sent over to Amazon. And I'm still going to try and source for eBay. But it will have to be probably Marketplace, which I ain't found nothing on there for a very long time. Um, and auctions. I would say charity shops, but... I rarely find anything from charity shops these days and it's time consuming going out there. So I think auctions is the next best thing to get me through Q4. Unless we get one or two more car boots that are just really decent. Um, and today I'm going to go Exeter, restock, tidy up. There ain't going to be much restocking because not much is sold. Um, we were shut for a couple of days last week because they had a, a leak in the ceiling, so it flooded the place. Luckily, my store was fine. Don't know how, because I'm on the second floor. It was the bottom floor that got affected. But anyway, let me show you what I've got a car boot. Oh my God, horrendous. And here we have it. That is the car boot hall. So we got this here, which is a, I think it's a V8 Absolute Vax, uh, or a Dyson, um, yeah, Dyson. Uh, paid 25 on that, probably looking at 80 to 100. This TV here, it comes with its power lead and remote, which are there. I paid a fiver, normally get around 40 pound for that. You get the odd model, that's like a bit more. Paid up on them. They're only a size 5.5 as well. They're in good condition, but size 5.5. Bit of a, an ugly colour. Um, she wanted a 10 hour, got her down to 8. Uh, yeah, probably get 25. Oh, I struggle to sell Air Force, don't know why. Everyone else seems to do well, but they don't fly out for me. Then we got this Deep Red Wilson Golf Set. Complete all the clubs, the little golf heads, the matching bag. Paid what I pay on that? I think it was 15. Oh, nice. Just noticed that in there. Sound. Didn't even know that was in there. Um, I might see if there's value in that, to be honest. If not, I'll keep it. Um, yeah, what was I saying? I think I paid 15 for that. And I was looking online on ebay they go for around 80 to 100 in bids i know we're out of season now but if i can get 80 out of season as a buyer now i'll be happy um what else do we get oh yeah and then we got this ping golf club here it's in pretty good condition bit dusty two quid i paid for that um, pings are really good make so that's probably 20 30 quid without research but sometimes they can be worth silly money um, and yeah so I'll probably see you on the next one so like I was saying my shelves are bare absolutely naked not very good weekend sales but I ain't listing much because I ain't got much stock. But we've got some big boys going out. And I mean big. I don't know how I'm going to post it, to be fair. Like that comes up to like my chest. And then that one there is a big boy. And then we got this one here. That's also massive. And parts are not too big. <laughs> uh, but yeah I don't know how, what I'm going to do I'll be able to post it no matter what it just 
it will probably cost an arm and a leg, like 40, 50 quid, which will mean, basically, I haven't sold the item, because the item's only sold for like 40, 50 quid. Restocking Exeter, got a nice little Chesterfield style chair. It's not actually Chesterfield, and it's very, very modern. Um, like an American rocker, two tubs of records, some vintage mugs, nothing special, only for like two quid each. Just to try it out to see if, they, uh, if there's a market for it in there. Nice vintage clock, and then got some brassware, and then a load of, uh, of that stuff there for a pound an item. And there's two crates of it, so hopefully that'll fly out. Ah, and a big IKEA bag full of um, the vintage orange Tupperware. So as per usual, here's a mess in here. Who are you talking to? <laughs> so we got to try and tidy up and fit everything in. Just as we turn up, we sold the cabinet that was there for 100 quid and then we had an X chair here for 75. So we've just took that down to the customer. Now we've got to tidy up. This was not part of the plan today. So once again, we managed to fit everything in, tidied up and everything is in here, all restocked. So come on down to Marsh Barton at the Exeter Trading Hub. Look at that. How cool does that look? That's way better than DVDs and books. Loads of vintage Tupperware, loads of comics. You name it, it's probably in here. How'd that bird get in here? Loads of fresh records, some nice rugs. Well, nice for some people. So come on down. Stopped off for a little snack. The main meal's coming out in a minute. Packing's almost done. So all that is parcel force. And then we got two more items there to pack. Two more items there. Packing a nice little kettle there. And then we got Yodo, every Royal Mail. So we got it all going on. Got a little mate following me around. Don't know whose dog that is, but he's been following me. <laughs> And uh, doing the parcel run. God knows. Anyone missing the dog? Another pallet going out. That's a chest of drawers that I bought on... When did I buy that? That was in Plymouth Auction last week. I uh, paid £48 in total and it went on an offer for 140 So that has come in and out real quick. That is the matching set to... that one there that's a gentleman's closet um their g plan they're a matching set but a part of them out i only got them and listed them at the end of last week and they already got 15 to 20 watches on each and loads of interest so the other ones shouldn't take too long to sell neither the time is 6 43 on a tuesday Getting breakfast, most important meal of the day for grafting on the old eBay. Thought I'd change it up today and get McDonald's instead of Tim Hortons. Keep it fresh, you know? Today's listings, just a job lot of them. There's some smaller ones inside. A slate mountain clock, a Z bed, deep red Wilson golf set, this brass and onyx lamp. That needs rewiring. <laughs> pair of Nike Force Ones, what some barcode scanners, a Dyson, a Ping Golf Club TV, taxi top, fire dogs, some vintage Black Widow catapults, and a job lot of uh, audio. And that is it. And then the shelves are empty. Alexa, do you want to go out on a date with me?
I like you as a friend. So I'm going to list these data reel cases here. As you can see, they've been stored outside in a shed. So they're going to be absolutely disgusting, as you can see. So I'm going to clean it up and see how well we can get them to look. So we cleaned it. I don't know if you remember what it looked like. But look at that. Brand new, that. So I just realised, obviously, you're going to remember because it was a second ago for you, but longer for me. Wednesday, got to start the day off right. Size of that, a pumpkin spice latte. Nice. Starting late today because I ain't got much in, but while getting that from Starbucks, I have found a new charity shop and it looks huge. So I'll be going in there later. So today we're gonna um, go out sourcing because as you can see, shelves are empty. So panicking a bit, car boots keep getting canceled and if they're on, they're not very good. So today we're gonna go out to the charity shops and a couple other places and just see if we can get some stock to save eBay. Drop some Yodo off and then have a look in the charity shop when we're here. Need some new shoes, don't you? Oh, they're quite smart actually. <laughs> So miserable, man. <laughs> Proper badly. <laughs> Little horsies. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Hello. What are you doing in there? The locks broke on the uh, on the van, on the old motor. So I got to uh, unlock it from the inside. Nightmare. Once this is done, then charity shopping and hopefully find some stock. Been to one so far, there was nothing in there. Not me. So we need to find something. Because I ain't doing anything here. Just at Tesco's, see if I can find anything for Amazon. Digging deep in the old eBay and Amazon pocket to try and find some stock. Will we find anything? What do you reckon? No. There's a Turkish Delight wrapper in there. Ooh. Is it a trigger taken in there? <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah. Christ. Let's see if we find anything in this one then. Both on your holidays. Yeah. So this here is the only thing so far. Um, we've been to three charity shops and we got that for two quid. That comes with its key and probably get about 30 quid for that, maybe even 35. But I'm just gonna list it for like 20, 25, just to get it gone quick because it only owes me two quid. Can't get in that way. Oh, yeah. Annoying this, and you got to unlock it. <laughs> If it worked. Oh. Wow. 
Are we going to find anything? Probably not. And straight back out again. Yeah, absolutely nothing. <sighs> I have not got any hope for this. <laughs> you don't have faith. Nope. But that shelf was like seven feet up, wasn't it? Yeah. No, nine foot that is. I'm seven foot. Sorry, I'm staked. They say we used to get back in the day. Used to be a 20 pounder. Bloody hell. So we've got this Delta Club briefcase, complete with the keys. Now, these here can do for about 15, 20 quid. It's priced at fiver. A little bit of money in it, but it could sit around for a while. So, on this occasion, I'm going to leave it. So, how did that shop go? That was absolutely awful. So, now we're going to go and get a carvery, cheer ourselves up a bit, and so I can use a toilet because I need a gorilla's finger. <laughs> Hopefully this cheers me up a little bit. In the back alleys. Shh. Camden Market, our last hope. So we're in town. Well, why not try cash converters? We have to find something. We're back now from the charity shop trip. Um, and the reason I went to cash converters is because sometimes you can catch them slipping or they're just trying to clear stuff so you can still buy it and sell it on for a profit. So this is the charity shop haul. And oh my God, did we do well or did we not? Well, I'll let you be the judge. You ready for this? Wow, <laughs> that's all we got from God knows how many charity shops. One suitcase for two quid. Quick flip, probably 20 quid. So, not great. And as you can see, shelves are empty. Don't know what we're gonna do really. Q4, I'm not even gonna be able to benefit from that, so I ain't got nothing to list. But I'll end it here, so, um, Showing you like not just the good stuff, like you can get days where you got no stock, you go out to X amount of shops and still find nothing. It's not all um sunshine and rainbows. Anyway, I'll end it there. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget, check out the description down below for any links and discount codes that I'll use for things like um like next level resale, uh, where I get my cardboard boxes from, top cashback, Instagram, Facebook, my email address if you've got bulk deals you want to shift on or anything you see in any of my videos that you're interested in, just drop me an email or a message on Instagram and I'm sure we can cut a nice little deal. See you later. I just want to say a big thanks to SW Resources, my cardboard box supplier, for sponsoring these videos. So these are the boxes they supplied me with. These are maximum medium parcel size for raw mail and parcel force. They're very good quality, used boxes, double walled, thick, strong, I use them myself. I've got another stack over there. They're very good, I love them. I'd highly recommend them. And on their website, which I will link down below in the description, they've also do um, many other sizes. And uh, I think, I believe they even do brand new boxes as well. So get yourself on over to the website, which I'll link down below and grab some boxes. And as you can see, they are double walled nice and strong and if you use my discount code recovered riches 5 
all in capital letters for five pound off all products or recovered riches 10 all in capital letters for 10 pound off all products and recovered riches 15 right there for 15 pound off all products I will link everything you need down below that will be the a link to his website and also the discount codes